Have you ever wanted to change the color of your car or simply wanted to protect your paint? Well, Plasti Dip, which comes in these cans, is a rubberized coating that can protect your car. It was invented in uh, the 1970s. It was first used to um, dip the ends of tools in, like give them a rubber coating and get your cover cans. But now, dipyourcar.com sells it in ready to go gallons to spray on your car. So for prep work, first of all, if you're gonna do cars or wheels, you have to bucket wash, always, always, always. Um, then make sure there's no imperfections, because this is already plastic dipped, but I will be, you wanna spray over plastic dip with paint, so I'll prep work this. So first you clean it, I've already cleaned it, so you wanna take a microfiber cloth. You will use uh, this before, what did I say? Uh, pre dip spray, that's what it is. So spray it on a microfiber cloth, give it a clean one, and then you will wipe down the entire surface. Make sure it's nice and clean. It was black earlier, I promise. White does get dirty. And then you'll mask off with your masking tape whatever you're not going to be dip coating. And my dad's a master mechanic, so he's pretty much taught me everything I know. So I've plastic dipped uh, my old sports cars where these panels had come from, and then we plastic dipped the top of his vet and everything else. So once you have everything masked off, this will be the side that I will be painting. That's the side I cleaned. You will go to your spray. Now, spray can come in these rattle cans or it can come ready to go gallons that you can get on dipyourcar.com. Um, there is a couple different cut types of guns. Um, the one that we use is a turbine setting. Um, you need to at least spray it five coats to make sure it peels off properly, otherwise it's a pain. Um, white is really hard to see that you have it thick enough to, to do it, so I had five or six coats on white, definitely. But, um, so you've sprayed it, you've decided, you know, you've waited a couple of weeks. Um, but post-spray, anyway, sorry. Uh, you want to spray this dip coat on it, um, the protective spray. That way it takes away the rubber, rubbery feeling because it does feel like rubber. So I will do that. Again, you spray it on your microfiber cloth. And then you just wipe down the surface. You want to do this in a... Uh, cool environment out of the sun, preferably, otherwise it won't be what it's supposed to. And I'll pass that around. You can feel the uh, side that was and wasn't done with the spray. Um, for removal, say you've waited a while and you decide, hey, I want to change the color. Um, if you've applied the right amount of coats, it should peel up. If not, it'll be a pain to peel up. Trust me, you'll have to either roll it with your fingers, like this one is not, doesn't have enough on it. And, but you can spray, um, they have a, in the corner they have dip dissolver, that is a citrus um, solution that it takes off the dip coat and then you'll power wash it like that wheel is. But you just grab a corner of it and it peels right up, if you have enough on there, which this corner does not. So yeah, it'll peel up. Just like that. But um, see, this is my this is where the panels have come from out of that hood. But this is my old sports car. She was plastic dipped wheels, paint everything in it. Um, another thing with the back exhaust here, you have to take a Scotch Brite to the white in order to get it completely clean, because otherwise it'll have this black yellowy tinge to it. Um, this is what wheels look like before and after with the dip coating. Um, you can see in the Corvette that the top is anthracite gray, which is a dip coat color. There's actually um, 97, I counted on their website, different gallons that you can get. But it's in a matte finish where the rest of it is gloss. Um, this is how you, to the far left, or far right for you guys, is a demonstration of what their website looks like with the colors, and that's what it would look like if you scrolled to the right and clicked on 
say quartz blue or frozen blue. They would show you what it would actually look like on a car. And the front piece of that bike, right above the headlights, is plasti dipped in white. I couldn't find the one with the uh, air box on it, but that is it. So to recap, you always want to do your prep work, masking off and cleaning. Spray at least five coats, whether that's in a rattle pan, which is what these are done in, or the spray gun. And then for removal, if you put enough on, you just peel it right up. Thank you. Any questions?